My, uh, my team and I have worked on several projects over the course of the semester, and um, some of the recent projects that we've done included a musical comedy, which is uh, Don't Make Me Sing, it's, um, and it's about a, a guy whose life is turning into a musical. And we did that for Campus Movie Fest um, two years ago, and it won Best Comedy here at Rutgers, and it uh, was able to fly out to, it played out in California at the Campus Movie Fest Hollywood Film Festival. And it, it placed, while it was there, it placed top five in the country for uh, best original soundtrack. So because of that, it was in the top 30 overall, and it got invited to the, uh, the Festival de Cannes in, in Cannes, France, um, to play out there in the, the short film corner, which is, it was just such a, a once in a lifetime experience. When I found out that I was going to France, it was the most amazing feeling that I've, I've ever had. Um, my heart skipped a beat just 17,000 times just the second I got that email. Um, it, it was a, a the, the Campus Movie Fest in Cannes program was something that I've heard about and I, the last two years I went to Hollywood, they've always shown like the highlight reel from France and I always knew that I wanted to go. So when we did Don't Make Me Sing, I was, um, I was a little nervous, I wasn't sure if it was going to be if it was going to be good enough to get in, but um, thankfully they liked it so much. It actually they liked it so much, it developed a cult following that year we were there. Um, we had the entire, the entire festival singing the kind of crazy songs that we wrote. Uh, my friend Christopher Pacey and I wrote, the, wrote all the music together for that movie, and um, I didn't realize it was going to catch on as much as it did. So much so that when we went back this past June, everyone was still singing the songs and was asking me where the big musical comedy was this year. Um, so it, it was just such a heartwarming feeling to be able to, to, to show it in France because the, the Cannes Film Festival is hands down the number one festival on the planet, and it's the most prestigious festival in the entire filmmaking industry. So the, to be able to show uh, my project there while I'm still an undergraduate at Rutgers, that's, that's something that hardly anyone is able to, to say they've been able to do, and I've just been so fortunate that they provide this opportunity for me. Um, the, the coolest part was it showed in the, the short film corner, so it was the out of competition short film department. And the best part was, you know, every day we would kind of hang out in the, there's this one area of the Palais, which was the convention hall that it took place in. And uh, we hung out, kind of every day around five o'clock, six o'clock, there was like a happy hour for filmmakers. And um, so everyone was just kind of mingling and talking with each other. And then, you know, you get someone interested in your film, you hand them your business card, you hand them your uh, kind of club card, your promotional material for the film. And then instantly right away you can say, hey, do you want to see it? It's, uh, it's showing right over here in this booth. And you can just walk into the booth and just hit play. You know, punch, you know, look the movie up and hit play, and people can watch it. And you know, you go to a film festival and you're you're mingling with uh, filmmakers, and you have to tell them, yeah, our screening time is it, it's in the third block on this day, and you're probably not going to be here to see it. And you can maybe look it up online, but you're probably not going to do that either. So that, to be able to just pull it up right there the second you have them enticed about the project was huge. It was so cool to be able to do that. I don't think there's uh, many other places where you can get that kind of buzz about your movie and then be able to show it instantly in front of, you know, 24 or 30 people right away. The majority of actors that I've used in my projects have all been my friends here at Rutgers. Um, it's, you know, starting in my, my, under, my uh, underclassman years where I just get my friends down the hall and then once I started, you know, finding the people that I like to work with and finding, um, you know, just forming the kind of team that I've been working with for the last couple of years, we've definitely had kind of the, the, the same types of actors in, in similar roles. My, uh, my roommate last year, Christopher Pacey, who just graduated, um, he's been in probably every one of my films. He's, the, the kid's so funny, he's hilarious, and he can, he's so multi-talented, he's been able to fill basically any role that I've written. We, we instantly clicked, because we all had the same ideas about what we wanted to do, and we had the same sense of humor. And then um, just all, all the other actors in my movies have all been, basically have all been RUTV alumni, have been uh, JMS or uh, communication majors alumni. Um, and it's it's a nice it's a nice core core group that we have because we're we're all these big rah rah go are you guys. The the courses that have been very influential and very motivating for me here um, definitely intro to media systems and processes with Professor Miller uh, taking that freshman year just um, just opened my mind to just the uh, the whole idea of being a, a journalism media studies major and knowing the, the background of where, where we're coming from and where we're going in terms of the communications and even the entertainment industry. Um, just learning about 
just how the system works and how everything fits together. That was having that freshman year was hands down my favorite class freshman year. Several professors that I've worked with over the past three years that I de I want to continue working with in the future. Um, professor Steve Miller, for example, um, he has been. He's Professor Miller is the reason I decided to come to Rutgers. Professor Bradich, Jack Bradich's class for um, consumer media was also a fun course that I took, and he actually was instrumental in helping me um, fund my trip to France. I met with him uh, prior to, to leaving for France, and he, as soon as I told him about the trip, he was so excited and he was so helpful in helping me find um, different programs and different departments around the university that could help me support and help support me and uh, help fund my trip. Without, without what I've learned here at Rutgers, I would not be where I am today. And I'm so thankful for the people here, the professors here, the classes here, all my friends that are here, and all the opportunities that um, Rutgers and the School of Communication and Information has provided.